Hello everyone, today I am reviewing a perfume for you, of course, and this one I have in a travel atomizer here, and it was sent to me by the lovely Tracy from the channel Comfort in Sense. So she has a YouTube channel and also an Instagram, and I highly advise you to go check it out. The Instagram warms my heart every single time she posts, it's really comforting lots of kind of vintagey feel things beautiful foods and drinks as well as perfumes and she has a great great taste in perfumes and she was really kind and generous sent me a load of stuff things i've been wanting to try for absolutely ages but today we're talking about lavender's triano lavand triano or something like that and that is by who's it by <laughs> Maison Lancome. It's by Maison Lancome. It's their high-end line. They also have the Jasmine's Marzipan and the Dragues, Iris Dragues one and quite a few Gourmand type fragrances and the bottles are absolutely stunning. So this is a lavender fragrance and I've worn it twice already. I really like it. I'm off on a night shift, so we're going to give it a proper good testing because it's a 12 hour shift as per usual. It's 6 pm or nearly 6 pm. And this fragrance is all about lavender, sugar, vanilla powder. Well, I'm going to tell you what I get to start with. I instantly get quite a herbal, very natural smelling lavender. Not a dried lavender, but like you're walking past a lavender bush in bloom and those things are quite powerful. They're quite a strong smell. They grow quite commonly in people's gardens here in the UK. I'm sure they grow in other countries too. You get a very herbal and fresh lavender, very natural smelling lavender. And I can smell a backbone of sweetness that's coming from a vanilla and almost a sugar-like sweetness as well. What I get later on, which I'll go over with you, is it gets very fluffy and powdery. And I feel like there's probably heliotrope in here or something similar that's giving it a, a almost almond-like sweet and powdery feel. But we'll come to that later. I don't get that just yet. At the moment, I just get lavender sugar and maybe a hint of caramel as well but just a subtle hint so i'm going to get myself ready for work and we'll come back to you with more on this shortly so here i am in the disabled toilet at work and i'm here because this is where i clean my teeth after i've eaten and had coffee because you get your own sink so i don't have to worry about people walking in so, and there's no one about today anyway, really. It's Saturday night, so there's only a handful of people here I still choose to come here for my teeth cleaning. And of course, what we're here to talk about is the fragrance Lavande Trion, Lavande Trianon, or similar. So, it's much less obviously lavender now. The lavender's calmed a little bit down and it's much more about vanilla, sugar, and this fluffy almond-like cloud that to me reminds me of heliotrope. The wafts I was getting in the car on the way to work were amazing. I literally filled the car up with just a few sprays I did around here. It's really projecting really nicely at the moment. So we're about nearly two hours into the wearing and it's definitely still projecting really nicely. I don't think this one has massive uh, development. I think it just has very gentle, subtle changes throughout the wearing. But for now, it's just a uh, slightly sweet, I'd say slightly sweet, it's quite sweet, quite sweet, vanilla, maybe slightly caramel, uh, caramelized lavender thing going on lavender sugar let's say caramelized lavender sugar with some powder and that's kind of it really but it's really good that's it for now hiya so it's now about half past one in the morning and that means the perfume has been on my skin for 
Uh, well, I put it on about 6 p.m. So it's been on my skin for seven and a half hours approximately. And it's still going strong. I'm still getting good strong whiffs of it and it's changed so i thought that it was going to be quite linear and i felt that it was a linear kind of fragrance but i'm wrong it definitely has two very distinct phases maybe even three but the stage that it's in now is it's actually got this grassy woodsy note coming through almost slightly incensey which is really interesting and takes it from being maybe quite feminine with the sort of fluffy, vanilla-y, lavender sugar thing. And now it's got the undertone of the sweetness. You can detect the vanilla and a bit of the lavender, but mostly now I'd say the dominant note here is this grassy kind of vetiver-like smell that's almost slightly incensey, which is not listed by the way. There's no note listed that matches what I'm smelling at all. But I'm really impressed actually. It's not what I imagined. It's a really interesting fragrance with a little bit of complexity and development. And I think it's one that's worth checking out if you're into a gourmand that's not just plain old gourmand, that's actually got a little bit more going on. The lavender feels like it takes a back seat really slowly and silently while you're wearing it. You don't even realize it's kind of creeping away, kind of backing out of the room without you realizing but it is still here, it's just not as strong as it was in the opening. It just seems to get lighter and more smoother and more seamless with the other notes, the longer it's on your skin. Overall, I give this a massive thumbs up. I really enjoyed wearing it. Another thank you to the lovely Tracy at Comfort Incense for giving me the opportunity to try it and sending me such a beautiful, well actually she sent me several packages of samples and decants it's going to keep me amused for a long, long time. But this one was a massive, massive thumbs up. I don't think I'll actually go and be looking to buy a bottle at the moment because I have so many fragrances that are vanilla heavy that I just don't see the need to get this one. But if you are in the market for a gourmand or a vanilla strong fragrance, then I'd say this is one to definitely consider. It's really, really good. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.